Well, um, hello everyone, this is Miko, and in this section, I will introduce a about artist, right? Who I am? Uh, my name is Man Jianting, and you can call me Miko. This is my English name. I'm one of the artist, right, committee members, as well as artist, right, core maintainer and a contributor. I'm a master student at the University of Windsor in Canada. Well, I will take a brief overview about artist, right? Artist Red was born in 2006, and after nearly um, 16 years developing, Artist Red has become a powerful and fully functional real-time operating system. It's totally open source, and the license is Apache 2.0. It's free to use, and there's no commercial concerns. Um, this is the kernel of Artist Red, we really call it as Artist Red Nano version. And this kernel contains mutex synchronization and communication between multi threads, such as semaphore, mutex, mailbox, message queue, and so on. It's a very tiny real time kernel, less than 5,000 lines of code. Resource consumption can be as low as 3 kilobytes of flash and 1.5 kilobytes of RAM. It also includes the extremely high and hard real time features. So, because of the excellent performance and high scalability, um, it has been installed on billions of devices in the field of electricity, industry, railway, consumer electronics, as well as in satellites, and many others. Kernel is important, but it is just part of Artist Red, and this is the whole picture of Artist Red in actual. Um, as you can see, up on the kernel layer, there are many important components, such as file systems, network, device drivers, and so on. Artist Red also support POSIX standard APIs. It has a POSIX layer, which means um, if you have written some codes on Linux environment or Unix-like environment, um, it will be easier to let you to port and run your code on Artist Red. We have supported PSE51, and in this year, we will support PSE52 and part of PSE53. Um, if you go to Artist Red GitHub repository, you will find these codes. Up on the platform, um, there are ma more than 400 software packages. Most of these packages are not contributed by Artist Red official. These um, packages are contributed by our community members and third party, like LVGL community, um, which is an excellent GUI library. So because of this, we can say that Artist Red is a complete ecosystem. If Artist Red is just a kernel, right, we have no dare to say um, that Artist Red has an ecosystem. Community is the essential part of ecosystem. Artist Red cannot be completed by any single individual. That's why I use community this word. Same like LVGL, both of us are open source communities. Community, right? Community, communication means discussion, right? So when we tackle a problem, we often uh, discuss with each other or even argue with each other. The reason why we do that because all of us want to find a better solution of this problem and push our this right better. That's the fun of open source, right? So Artist Red is hosted in GitHub, and up to now, this repository has more than 6,700 6, um, stars and uh, 3,700 folks, sorry for my English. Um, we have more than 400 software packages. Uh, these packages are timer saver. Meanwhile, we have more than 400 contributors. So thanks for these contributors and also thanks for LVGL community contributors. Chip vendors are also are extremely important because operating system or GUI library need to run on a natural hardware board, right? Artist Red supports many chip vendors and architectures. So in this conference, we also invite NXP, Norton, and SD companies to introduce how to port Artist Red and LVGL to their microcontrollers. The ecosystem of Artist Red also contains IDE and tools. So uh, Artist Red EMV is a tool and it's a powerful auxiliary tool. So by using these two, you can generate, uh, for example, ARM queue, 
uh, IRVS Code Visual Studio Eclipse CMake and Make File uh, project is very powerful, and it also is a software package manager. But um, look at the picture, right? Uh, just in the right side, you can see. Although it's very powerful, but the the UI, you know, the UI is not very beautiful. It's just like going back to last century, um, 1980s. It it just gave me that kind of science, right? So, in 2019, Artist Red team decided to develop a new IDE called Artist Red Studio. So, Artist Red Studio is an IDE. It's not an auxiliary tool anymore. IDE means integrated development environment. So it's much more powerful, but it also contains all of the function or most of the function that Artist Red ENV has. More specifically, um, Artist Red Studio is all in one, which means you can use this IDE to create a project and then configure the project and compile the whole project and download the program, um, debug the program, so, and so on. So it's very easy to use. And it's totally free to use. You don't need to pay money for this um, software. And uh, Artist Red Studio also contains a very powerful simulator. I will talk about simulator later. In summary, why Artist Red? Because it's simplicity, object-oriented design, modularization, and it's very friendly, easy to use. So this is my real talk: how to run LVG on Artist Red in simulators. The simulators, simulators, ACE means it's not just a simulator. Actually, I will introduce two different simulators. One is Artist Red Studio, which I just mentioned, and the other is Visual Studio. Um, especially for now the pandemic period. Now, everyone um, has a real hardware board. So I think simulators give us a very good chance to like us to evaluate the LVG and the Artist Red performance uh, by using computer. Okay, the first simulator that I want to show you is the Artist Red Studio simulator. And how to do that? You need to go to Artist Red's uh, official website, artistred.io, and download the studio. Right here, you can free download it. And uh, if you have successfully uh, installed it, and please open it, and then click this button SDK manager and uh, you need to make sure that you have installed the latest version of the source code and please update to synchronize the latest version latest source code and then you also need to make sure that you have installed the QEMU V Express A9 and then you also need to make sure that you have installed QEMU at here. So you just simply, uh, for example, you just simply select this and click install this button because I have installed it. The, the software don't allow to don't allow me to install it again. But you need to select this, the latest version, and then install packages. So once if you have installed those packages, then we. Uh, look at here, there's a, a black space, right? We right click the new project, the artist right project. Next, we click base on board. And in board, this option, you need to select QEMU V Express A9 and give you project name, for example, test. And please make sure that the artist read uh, source code's version need to be uh, latest version, not 4.0.2 or smart is latest. And then finished. So artist red studio will help you to create a artist red project. We need to wait for a minute. And Please uh, click Artist Red Settings. And as you can see, here is the Artist Red Software Package Center as well as the um, Configuration Manager. 
So you need to click here. There is a double arrow and detail. So here is the artist ray software, uh, artist ray software packages. And you can see there are many categories, for example, our language, AI, and system, and tools, so on. And today we need to go to hardware. Hardware. In onboard peripheral driver configuration, this uh, category, we can find there is enable LVGO for LCD. We enable it. And artist ray will help us to select the related drivers as well as LVGO official software package in multimedia right here and LVGO music player demo. So you just simply select enable LVGO for LCD all set. And then we click compile this button. So uh, Artist Red Studio will save the configuration. And then based on this configuration to go to um, LVGO official uh, repository to download the latest version which is 8.2.0 and as you can see here is LVGO 8.2.0 and LVGO music demo so we just for a minute Okay, we have compiled, we have uh, successfully compiled the project and then we click this download, down, uh, flash download. So if you are a real hardware, uh, if you click this, uh, it will, uh, it will download the program to your hardware board in actual. But because this is QEMU simulator, so, uh, if you click this button, it will initial, uh, in, in, initiate the QEMU simulator. So uh, there are two windows, and the uh, one is black. One is black. One we there's no meaningless for this window, so we uh, minimize this. And here is the LVGO demo is playing right now. So we can use our cursor to control these things. For example, right. And here is the terminal of RT thread. So we can tap, for example, this thread. And as you can see, here is LVGL thread right here. So the average FPS is uh, 82. And then we finish this simulator. Just click the stop. I want to introduce about the artist where package center more. So in our in packages this category, you will find there's a lot of subcategory, for example, IoT and security, language, uh, multimedia, and tools, and so on. And in every cat subcategory, you will find uh, many software packages right here. So, for example, um, you can directly select right, uh, right here, right? And you also, um, if you know idea, you know, for example, I want to search something related JSON. You just simply click uh, add this button, right? Click the arrow, double arrow again, and click add this button. And for example, I want to search JSON, this keyword, and you can see there are uh, at least three or four JSON related software packages. And then you just pick one of them and click add. And as you can see here, it has, it has been successfully added. So it's very convenient. And these software packages is super timer saver. So this is the basic information about the RT Studio. So I hope everyone can try to use it. The next simulator is Visual Studio. And this time we go to Artist Red repository in GitHub to download the latest source code, download zip. And then we also need to go to Artist Red official website to download the env2 right here. 
And please follow the documents and tutorial video to help you how to install the EMV2. Now please open the source code folder and go into BSP and simulator. BSP and simulator. The name simulator means Visual Studio Simulator. And we found a blank space and right click, open the EMV2. So if you are the first time to use EMV2, I suggest you to do some settings first. So we just simply type manual config dash s, which means settings. Wait for a minute, and I suggest you to select automatically update packages uh, configurations. And we press ESC key in your keyboard to exit and save the configuration, and press yes. And this time, we type manual config. And as you can see here, we have enable LVGL for LCD. So we just simply use space key to select this. Just one single step, uh, just one single step and all set. So we also use um, ESC key to exit and save your configuration. Press yes. And then EMV2 will automatically download the latest version of LVGL source code from LVGL official repository in GitHub and as well as uh, an L, uh, LVGL player demo. And then combine the LVGL and artist thread code together. So we need to generate a Visual Studio project, right? So we tap scans and dash dash target equals to VS2012 and press enter button. So don't type other years, uh, just VS2012. And don't type, for example, VS2019, such as this. You just uh, follow me, type VS2012. We wait for a minute to let VMV2 to automatically generate the Visual Studio project. So as you can see here, we have successfully generated a Visual Studio project right here. So we double click and open the project. The Visual Studio will automatically mention you that uh, remind you that we need to operate this project and you just simply select yes. And then we begin to compile the project. After the compiling, uh, the Visual Studio will automatically run the LVGL and Artist Thread Simulator. So we also need to wait for a minute. And as you can see, here is the uh, LVGL and Artist Thread demo. Um, this is the LVGL uh, player music player demo. Now here is our Artist Thread uh, terminal. You can type some command, for example, list thread. And here is the LVGL thread, the priority is 21. And here is LVGL demo, and we can let it finish. So you can use your uh, mouse to control, right? Whatever you want to do. It's very easy to let you to uh, simulate. So the average uh, FPS is 100. And thanks for watching this presentation.